Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be installing Kali Linux inside VMware Workstation 17 Player. This is a scaled down version compared to the other one that I usually use, which is Workstation Pro. There's a lot of similarities between the two, and this one's completely free. So if you haven't installed this already, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through the steps. But let's go ahead and start installing Kali Linux. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our browser here. And uh, we're at the Kali Linux website. I'll make sure I link this in the description below. Typically with these virtual installs, I usually use the full ISO image. In this particular case, because it's pretty seamless, we're gonna be using the virtual image. So we'll go ahead and click on this. So if you check this out, you have three different options. You have VMware, VirtualBox, Hyper-V. I've done installations for all these versions. You can check the description below. Uh, the one that we're gonna select is this VMware image. It's 2.7 gigs. We're gonna click on this, let this download take a couple minutes. What I'll do is I'll jump over to the next part when this has been completed. Okay, so our file has been downloaded. The next thing that we wanna do is open up our VMware player. So I'm gonna minimize this for a moment. This is in my downloads folder. You wanna make sure you know where you've downloaded the file. So go ahead and minimize that. And inside our VMware workstation player, uh, we're gonna to go to open virtual machine. We're not gonna create a new one. This one's already pre-configured. So go ahead and select this option. And now I'm just gonna navigate into my downloads folder. Here it is. And you can see I just have to open this up and there is gonna be a VMX file. If you open up this folder and you take a look at it, you're gonna have many files within it. You have to make sure that the extension for this one is VMX. So we're gonna select that one and then click on open and it should populate right over here. There we go. And we get some information here over here for the operating system and what it's been configured for. It's using two gigs of RAM. Uh, that is gonna be just fine to run this. But if you click on edit virtual machine, you can go into the virtual machine settings and you can modify anything in here. If you wanna beef it up a bit, you can select the memory, you can increase the memory, you can increase the CPU cores, you can also increase the disk space. Anything that needs to be modified can be done in this window. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. The next step is just to make sure it's selected in the list and then click on the play button and it's gonna power on our virtual machine. Okay, and here we are at the default login screen. I'm just gonna full screen this right now. And you have a bar up here at the top that's pinned down. If you wanna go full screen and not worry about this, you can just unpin it and that'll disappear. And now we're completely in full screen. The default username and password that we're gonna type in here is Kali for username and the password's also gonna be Kali and then click on login. And there we go, we're at our desktop for Kali Linux and we've just installed it inside VMware Workstation Player version 17. All the pre-installed applications are already there. This operating system is ready to use. You can just go up here to the menu and you have their pre-installed applications right over here in the menu. This is a great solution if you wanna keep your operating system isolated for testing purposes. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.